I think doctors, certainly after the Women's Health Initiative, maybe before, were at sea about a consensus of what to offer women. And they could offer them Prempro, which was a pharmaceutical product, but they didn't see great results. And I'm sure they always suspected there might be some harm. So then they went into bioidenticals, and this template for bioidenticals until the protocol was the standard of care, a tiny bit of estrogen every day, and some progesterone sometimes thrown in for the second half of the cycle, or even estrogen and progesterone in small amounts every day, like Prem Pro was a daily combination. And I think the doctors went with that because it seemed like the standard of care might be safe. What I tried to create in the Wiley Protocol was a turnkey system. The Wiley Protocol comes prepackaged, color-coded for compliance. The doctors have a clinical practice guidelines manual with symptoms and answers in it. The pharmacies that work with us also can have that manual. So if a woman calls for a question, the doctor and the pharmacist are never at odds about the answer. I did all this standardization of dose modification and packaging and pricing and methods and materials so it could be studied. Because the government, when I testified before the Senate, their big objection was there's no point in studying bioidenticals. They're given too many ways. Any pharmacist will make anything they want, say anything they want, charge anything they want. And doctors, for the most part, would make it, make it up as they go along unless they stuck to the template that mirrored Premer and Prempro. So I did all this so it could be studied, but doctors tell me it's very easy because of that. They know what they're sending out. They know what the women are taking. They know what results to expect. And that is science. That's the way science is supposed to be done. No variables. If we can find a doctor at a conference who is out there and wants a pharmacy, I mean, we've made it pretty simple. The website, thewileyprotocol.com, you can find a doctor and a physician. A doctor can find a pharmacy to work with. So again, we're trying to standardize the whole process so that our two studies at the University of Texas and the one in Santa Barbara means something. Well, I think every woman needs to remember they deserve an answer about what's safe and effective. And if your doctor can't tell you something is safe and effective, do your own homework.